In the metals markets today, base metals the big story and copper had a very big day. A low volume rally that took the market up almost one and a half percent on its highs came off in toward the end of the day to finish up three quarters of one percent. And it is still only the fourth up day in the last 11. We've had seven down days in that stretch. But it's a significant update, even though it was low volume. We ended up finishing the week down, but still, again, a very strong individual day. Politics and trade, one of the main reasons. It's interesting because the trouble that the United States president has with its own Congress currently and some of the whistleblower reports and transcripts and everything else that's been released actually seems to be at least a perception of the market. And copper is one of the places where you see that seems to be a decent thing for trade or at least the idea that a trade deal could get done. The theory is that the more the president gets in trouble politically, the more he needs a political win and he may be willing to bend a little bit more to get a China trade deal done, to get a new EU trade deal done, maybe even to assist in the trade war between South Korea and Japan and try and get that done to try and give off this impression that even if impeachment is successful, if conviction in the Senate is not successful, that he's still working for the people, working for the economy. That's the theory. Now, it seems to be playing out in the copper markets as there tends to be more and more pressure on the president. We're getting this sort of a rally. We've seen that repeatedly, although again, only four times in the last 11 days has copper even been up. And lastly, the dollar, hit a new high, but then finished lower. It actually jumped up above yesterday's high and then collapsed in toward the end of the day to finish below the flat line. But that again, that inverse relationship within the dollar and most commodities certainly helped keep the bid under copper, even though it came off in toward the end of the day. Copper finishing up a little bit more than three quarters of 1%.